led the way to the stable yard, Rat followed with the most unhappy look on his face. In the state of Alaska, all kids are screened in reading at the beginning, middle, and end of the school year. So we're going to be screening all our kids on a state-approved assessment, which is called M-Class, and that's happening in the fall. After that, what we do is we look at the results and how students did on that, and we find which students have strengths in reading and which students have needs in reading. So they're struggling and we need to do some intervention with them. As a result of that, we are gonna be sending letters home to parents if a child is struggling in reading based on that assessment. And this is the first time that we're doing this um, as a district and a state. So this will be new to parents. After the assessment, you as a parent are gonna receive a report. It's called the Home Connect Report. And so I wanna give you a little bit of information so that you know how this is organized. On the top of the first page, you're gonna see a score that's circled. It's called the Dibbles Composite Score. You can think of this as the overall reading score of your student. It's made up of lots of very basic individualized reading um, skills, but when put together, it provides the composite score. So this is an important number to pay attention to. That number will fall into one of four categories. One being well below benchmark, it means that your student need, is in need of the most support. The second one is called below benchmark. It means your student is in need of some support. The third one is at benchmark, they've met the goal. And the last one is above benchmark. It means they're above the goal. And so that first page is the summary of those results. The second page of the report will show you an area of need where, where your student can improve in their reading skills. And it's gonna provide a few different tips and strategies that are quick and easy that you can use at home to support your student. And the final page of the report is an additional assessment that will help us determine if your student is at greater risk for further reading difficulty. And this isn't something that parents should be worried about. Actually, this is a really good way that we can partner with parents to work together to help their child be successful, even as early as kindergarten. We want to catch it early so that we can intervene, and that way that child has those reading skills. The earlier we intervene, the better it's going to, students are going to be in catching up and being successful in their other subject areas. So don't be alarmed if you get this um, letter. This is really us reaching out to parents to pull you in and have parents be part of the solution. After you receive this report, you're going to have the opportunity to talk with your teacher, to ask questions, um, and make sure that you understand the information. And you're encouraged to reach out if you do have questions, but please know that at conferences, you're going to get that opportunity as well. And then from that, we'll work together with you, your teacher and the parents together, will work on an intervention plan. And we put this all into a document called the Targeted Intervention Form, TIF. So it's new terminology, but um, parents are gonna start hearing that terminology as they get these um, intervention plans. And that's gonna target what areas of reading, whether it be phonemic awareness or phonics or vocabulary, what do we need to work on so that your child is um, increasing their reading skills. From that, um, you'll probably get monthly reports on how, how you know, your child's doing. And then in parent-teacher conferences in February, you'll be have another opportunity to meet and talk about um, your child's progress. And through that time, you'll also be getting information as if your child doesn't make the progress, what does that mean for going into the next grade? and um, progression or non-progression is the terminology we use, but that's something we don't really talk a lot about until February because we really want to intervene and we want to solve the problem early on and we know we can do that in um, the early grades um, pretty easily if a child's consistently in school and we develop a good intervention. Our ASD teachers have been trained in how to teach reading, how to intervene with kids with reading. They are prepared and they are dedicated to the success of all of our kids. So they're excited to work with parents this year in order to make, make sure we're meeting the needs of every student in our school so we get outcomes for all kids.